Our aldermen are in fact residents of our city and as elected officials they have several responsibilities which include zoning, traffic codes, taxes and often serve on committees that work on larger projects. So this morning Alderman Matthew O'Shea from the 19th Ward and our special guest today Brian Flisk is joining us to talk specifically about the initiative Get Behind the Vest. Guys thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. So first, let's start off. You guys are actually located on the southwest side of the city, um, right around 111th Street in that area. You guys have a lot of police officers that actually live in that area as well. What has the uh, reaction been? What has it been like since the tragedy that we had happened two days ago? I mean, I would I would say that um, you know, citywide, we're all feeling this, um, but it hits especially close home in uh, the 19th Ward where. We have uh, a large amount of first responders, police, fire, um, and many people in my community worked with uh, Commander Bowers. So uh, it's, it's tough on all of us, but it, it hits close to home in the 19th Ward. And you have a Get Behind the Vest initiative, um, and it actually benefits the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation. Correct. Tell us about the Get Behind the Vest thing, because I think it's crazy. You get a vest when you become a police officer. They give you one. But they have to be replaced every five years, and the city doesn't pay for it, right? Correct. Um, and, you know, often that's the question. Why doesn't the city pay for it? Well, unfortunately, that, that's part of the collective bargaining agreement between uh, the police union. Um, and the way I look at it is it's not being addressed, so we're going to address it. Mm -hmm. uh, four years ago, Phil Klein, the executive director of the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation, kicked off this initiative and it was for the 10,000 plus Chicago police officers to replace their vests. And, um, you know, police officers do get a stipend each year to pay for um, supplies they need. Um, but unfortunately, w what we see is, you know, police officers raising a family, uh, they're paying a mortgage, they might be paying uh, tuition, uh, raising a family expenses, and, and what do they do? They put themselves last. and to find that there are officers on the street 10, 15, 20 years on the job with the same vest that they had that they were issued when they graduated from the academy. And God forbid they found themselves in a, in a catastrophic incident, that vest would not save them. So uh, that's why this initiative started. To date, we have replaced 8,000 vests wow. for uh, officers across the department. How much do the vests cost? On the low end, about five hundred dollars. But uh, you know, your your higher end, you know, SWAT mm -hmm. uh, officers, their vests can be upwards of three thousand dollars. That's uh, a lot of money on anyone's salary. You know, Brian, we got to get you involved here too because uh, you tragically lost your father, who was a police officer, and he uh, passed away while on duty. Yes. Uh, talk about what uh, uh, Alderman O'Shea's initiative means to you personally, and uh, your reactions this week of what's been going on. I've had strong feelings as far as the events that have unfolded, unfortunately, for the Bauer family. Um, there's really no words that you can put into losing your father in such a senseless way. But the initiative that Alderman O'Shea is a part of means a lot to not only my family, but also the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation and all other fallen officers' families because it's important to have your loved one come home at the end of the day. And when you go through, through such a tragedy, I really think, you know, it puts in perspective how precious life is and exactly how big of a sacrifice each officer makes when they leave their home and hopefully return at the end of the day. Can you guys tell us about the pancake breakfast you're putting on? Sure. So um, this Sunday, uh, St. John Fisher School is hosting our fourth annual Get Behind the Vest Pancake Breakfast. All the product is donated by the original Pancake House in Beverly, located 104th and Western. Uh, they've been there more than 50 years. Um, we're expecting upwards of 3,000 people through the door. Uh, $5 or $25 for a family. You can, all you can eat pancakes in support of the officers of the Chicago Police Department, um, raising dollars to purchase new vests to keep our officers safe. Um, so anybody out there that, that wants to support the Chicago Police officers, especially in this, in this tragic time that we're in, um, stop by. Uh, enjoy a great breakfast, and um, you know, Superintendent Johnson mentioned it yesterday in his press conference. For all Chicagoans out there, you see a police officer on the street, just stop and thank them. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of work. Brian, I wanted to ask you one question. Just uh, you know, this week we've obviously had an outpouring for the family of uh, Commander Bauer. A lot of thoughts, prayers. Uh, Eddie Johnson saying a lot of kind words. And Mayor Emanuel, when you went through the situation that you went through, were those? 
thoughts? I mean, did that help you guys get through uh, the process of losing your father? Was the, the community support a big thing for you? That was one of the biggest, I would say, elements that helped my family and I get through our tragic passing of our, losing our father. It's just, you know, it's something you don't exactly expect because there's often criticism about police officers in society. But when you receive that outpouring, it's probably the biggest uplifting thing you can experience during that time. That's good to hear, especially since that should prompt all of us to continue that out support, uh, support for everybody. For all right. sure. All, all right. right. Alden, thank, yeah, go ahead, oh, Felicia, sorry. Thank you there to Alderman O'Shea and Brian for joining us. Please support Alderman's Pancake Breakfast again this February 18th from 8 a.m. to noon at St. John Fisher School in the Beverly neighborhood. Also go to Matt O'Shea at the19thward.com for more details. Thank you all for being here. Thanks.